Okay. Hello, internet. We are here. Um, hi, my name is Ash. Um, uh, and I am today's uh, guest GM thing for Big Bad Online. This is my channel. Um, uh, I normally host a show here called I'm Not Trying to Kill You. Um, I'm not making any of those sorts of promises today. Um, and uh, yeah, we're here. We're here to play one of the Big Bad Con Online uh, sessions with um, uh, with the some of the lovely backers from uh, from the Big Bad Con uh, Kickstarter. So we're going to play Oracle, which is a uh, a card based um, fortune telling role playing game. It's played entirely. Or as much as we can manage in the future tense, we are like people often fall back into like I'm doing this right now, and that's fine. But um, but this is the very latest version, so this just got released on Patreon last night, and so we're, we're playing the Bleeding Edge version. So um, what I'll do is I'll get my lovely guinea pigs to uh <laughs> to introduce themselves. Um, starting with we'll 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 go anti clockwise. So um, Tracy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Hi, uh, I'm Tracy. Um, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm really excited for Big Bad Con. I have a ton of friends coming in from out of town, um, and I'm hosting a Games on Demand slot, and I'm volunteering, and I'm super, super stoked. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a very I I, I love like the energy that gets up around around uh, cons like Big Bad um next up we have chris hello chris how are you hello uh so he him um so i'm also very much looking forward to big bad con i'll be running a couple of uh leverage games there Ooh. and just hope to see everyone cool awesome um next up we have laurel hi laurel how are you hi Hi there, fine. I'm also very excited about Big Bad Con. I'm going to be running an Emily Care Boss LARP, uh, mostly at the request of a friend, cool. because my, my normal tendency is to horror and grim and Nordic, and so this is a, I guess, only Nixon can go to China. I will run the romantic LARP game, and <laughs> very happy to see what other folks are running. I, I, I just love the idea of being like, yes, we're playing a romantic LARP. Also, you have brain spiders now. Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> Just, just bring the horror to it. Um, uh, and lastly, we have Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Ash. Uh, I've been going to Big Bad Con for, I think, four or five years. I love it. I'm just going to be a player this time. Ooh, uh, nice. And uh, just try to enjoy it. But lately, I've been really into everything by Pelgrane Press. You know, the gumshoe mm -hmm. games, mm -hmm. uh, the drama system, just really well-written stuff. Mm -hmm. And a great variety, and that's what I've been into lately. Cool. All right. So, um, as far as the way that we play this game, um, I'm going to go through the uh, the uh, through uh, a little script that the game gives us. Um, this is uh, this game is currently in like late alpha, early beta. So um, your feedback is um, is welcome and appreciated, and th that includes chat. Um, and um, and if uh, if we have any questions or things, and, and you're like, oh, that's a bit iffy. I'm not sure. Like, um, we'll we we we'll talk about that, and that'll be really helpful for me because then I can be like, ah, cool, that's a thing that needs to be fixed up. So feel free to be like, what the fuck at any point in time. Um, the other thing that I want to check in with before we start playing, because I think this is really important to do um, um, whenever you got a new group of people together, is um, I want to check in that we all understand that we're all adults here that are, that are playing a game so that we are all having a good time. Um, one of the important things to check in with, uh, to like, um, to, to establish that and to establish the space for that um, is to make sure that we have uh, a safety tool in case um, anyone comes up against some, any content that they are that they struggle with. So um, uh, because we're on stream, we're on the internet. Um, we use a uh, we don't use a traditional X card, but if you are having trouble, X card or just put your hand up to the uh, up to the thing, or you can uh, um, to uh, to let us know that you're struggling, or you can say X card. 
the reason that we have those um, those physical signals is in case um, you, the the thing you're dealing with means that you you're struggling with your words. Um, but if you just say, "Hey, I'd like to X card that," or "This is getting a bit close to an X card for me," um, we're all adults. We all have our own shit uh, that we have to deal with, um, and we all recognize that that it sucks for other people when they have to deal with their stuff. And so when that comes up, we'll just be like, "Cool, it's not a big deal." We'll move on. What would you like us to avoid in future? And that's it. So is everyone cool with that? Uh, with those safety tools that we've got sorted out? I don't think we'll need them for this game, but I always check because uh, because like some people have unexpected things that you you like where you're like, oh, I didn't realize that this person had a, a thing about like claustrophobia or you know those sorts of things where it's like that's a thing that happens in adventures and you need to make sure that people feel safe talking about that. So I appreciate everyone's buying into being good people um so as far as the game goes i need to find my copy of the rules there we are all right so let's get we've put the two cards out there yes good i've sorted all the cards and i have shuffled them travelers enter the tent filled with smoke and feathers now i will lay out the class and Soul cards. I'm just going to put these into the hand area for now. We won't, which is a bit funny, but there's just a spare space we have for the moment. There we are, all higgledy piggledy. Before you sits the oracle, surrounded by its elements. Your party seeks its future, a quest that bids them to distant lands shrouded in mystery. Um, travelers, choose one of the class cards. Those are sword, coin, wand, and cup, and a soul card for each of you. And then just choose one of the gray boxes to be like the area for your stuff and drag it in there. If you want to look at something, so at the top right of roll 20 is a zoom thing, but you can also press Z while you've got a thing selected to, to bring it up and look at it closer. Hmm. So yeah, soul, cards, sure. soul cards are basically mechanically the same because they will all or you can always use your soul um, to address a challenge, whereas the class cards you will um, they they are mechanically different. I.e., um, the way that we will be using the uh, using these cards is that when I say this when when I present you with a challenge, if you think that you uh, that like. A card that you have that is about you and uh, an attribute is appropriate then you would contribute that to an to a hand thus stacking the odds in your favor mm -hmm. so um there are exactly four so that everyone so that uh who, whoever has the like oh i want this one should put their hand up first because otherwise they will be taken yeah tracy uh, yeah i am really feeling uh this uh chimera uh of the beastly and the noble um mm -hmm. soul card Mm -hmm. So uh, I want that one. Yep, cool. Do you um, have a... I don't have a strong opinion on um, the. Uh, I don't have a strong feeling about these characters, so I think I'll let everyone else pick first. I'm like mm -hmm. the savant and the broker, are the ones that are speaking to me. But I could honestly pick any any of these and be perfectly happy. But this is this is my soul card. I think uh, I'd like to run with the priest myself. Mm -hmm. Yep, cool. Be the person who people listen to. I'm not sure about that, but I can <laughs> I try. Mean, that, I mean, the, the thing I like about the priest is that it's equally about your ability to listen to other people as it is about um, people listening to you, which I think is nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I see the soul card up here. I don't oh, see sorry, you might need this. to zoom out. So in the top right-hand corner of um, of okay. uh, 
of oh, 20, this I little zoom it. thing um, and i've placed the uh the those cards temporarily in the hand section got it And so we should just take the card and drag it into the top left. Uh, so uh, each person should have one of these gray boxes. Um, so just choose whichever of the gray boxes is not being used by someone else. Oh, I see. Yeah, soul wise, I think uh, I'm really interested in uh, the. Whoops! It went away. <laughs> Someone's taken it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So for my second choice. Um, <laughs> That which resists an existence of suffering with naive hope and bullish defiance. Mm, mm -hmm. Yep, cool. Well, I guess that made the choice easy. <laughs> this is why both of them, in, uh, both of them, there at the same time, is so that some, uh, like theoretically, everyone should get either their like first or second choice of either soul or or class. Theoretically, if people are being nice. <laughs> I will think I will take the strategist. Mm hmm The sword. Very cool. So we got Second. the wand and the coin left. So I think that's what you're taking the wand? Cool. Awesome, uh, awesome. I am perfectly happy with the coin. So, the coin, the coin is the one that gets to be like, I have all the gear. Why, why did no one pack? <laughs> <laughs> Which is always fun. Um, cool. So, I, if you have a look um, to the left of the hand, I've laid out two cards: one at the start and one at the end of the journey. Travel. Uh, uh, the the one at the start is the woods. The one at the end is the raging elements. Hmm. Travelers, explain how you came to this locale, the woods, to find the oracle, and what you seek from the encounter at the end of your journey. You as a group have clearly come to me, uh, uh, hoping, to, uh, hoping to solve some problem, hoping to see what, uh, uh, what do you, uh, what is it, that, uh, how did you come to be here? How did you find me? And what is it that you as a group are, uh, seek, the, uh, seek these raging elements for? Do we answer as a party or individuals? This is a, this, so. This is very much a game about like working out that flow. Like, yeah, if you have a thing about like what you might be doing, and then mm -hmm. uh, and then ask questions to the others, um, and and offer offer hooks and leads to each other. We'll, we'll hmm. find we'll find our rhythm for solving problems as we go. Right. Perhaps we have a uh, global ennui of some sort that needs some sort of uh, cleansing. Mm. Hmm. Not exactly a plague, but maybe a plague of the soul. Yeah, right. Yeah. The perhaps, Pe the perhaps, the, the, there's a, the, perhaps there is something that you're seeking from the elements that might reinvigorate people? Yes. Uh, flesh out the old and bring in a new energy that maybe we have lost. Mm. Yes. Cool. Um, uh, my, my question then is, did you, are, are you from, um, are you from a group that was, or that has uh, like already existed with the intention of, uh, of solving this problem or have you come together um, and found each other on the road, uh, all attempting to solve the problem together. Is this like a jubilee thing where it had like something has to happen every um, every sixty years? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And it's sort of the opposite of a jubilee, actually. But the like, is it a thing where like a thing has a lifespan and it dies? Mm. Right after a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. 
Laurel, so you... if we don't, if we're not successful, then maybe uh, a new age doesn't come to being. Maybe we uh, are we at some kind of standstill. What is uh, my brain goes to that to, to the um, the thing from Serenity where everyone just like lies down and dies because they don't they just stop doing anything. But um, yeah, Laurel, you you look like you were having a thought. I'm I'm just thinking about the part about how we've come together. Mm. I, I like the idea that we are together more out of necessity than, I guess, a fellowship. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That we've either been assigned together or chosen in some way to travel together. Mm -hmm. I like that. And maybe we're not that important. Maybe there's other groups being put together for this reason or being drawn together. So. We, we might even see futility in what we're doing because surely someone else can do it. Yeah. I right. mean, that, that's an interesting Especially... question because like the, because right now you've come to me, the Oracle, to find out whether or not you'll be successful. Mm -hmm. What will happen on your way to, this, uh, to, to find out this quest? Maybe the answer is going to be you fail. Yeah. Well, we certainly think so. We're gripped with this ennui that we've lost confidence that maybe uh, we assume that, uh, you know, we're just going through the motions. We need, uh, we're, we're not special enough. Mm -hmm. We certainly think that mm -hmm. we're not heroes. Yeah. Maybe the age of heroes is generally at the start of the cycle and we're now at the end. Yeah. <laughs> right. Can't, a sad Canterbury tale. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. Can we, can we find hope? Can we find renewal? Yeah. Will the oracle help us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will the oracle like... help you? <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. Right. Probably not. Did we all get like sent from our individual cities, towns? castles whatever as like the one representative because no one wants to do this because why bother because someone gets like put up for tribute yeah like le less like i volunteer as tribute and more like getting voluntold at a at, at a committee meeting mm -hmm. yeah. um but <laughs> the end result is the same yeah it's Everyone, the reverse lottery it, it, this is the this is the age of like Netflix and and, and like awesome. like 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 we're playing in a fantasy setting, but like everyone just wants to stay at home and have their food and like you know listen to a bard sing and everything. Can we just have the nice things? It's like oh, I guess I have to go on a quest. Ah, <laughs> oh. yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, you know, honestly, the age of like home comforts does not sound so bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I take that. <laughs> um. I have one thought, but it might be a little too ultra for the idea, and that's that maybe the cycle is when nature pushes back on humanity because humanity is always seeking to restructure nature, and this is where the the wild starts to say, "Hey, you know what? Stay stay in your place," and we have to choose if we want to become one with it again or if we want to continue saying. No, we're going against the grain. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. that works for me. Awesome. So, yeah, you've been sent into these dark woods, right? Where, it, uh, where it's never really daytime so much as it goes between being dusk and, uh, uh, and like absolute pitch black. And like, uh, and these, these folks of creature comforts, um, and, uh, and yeah, ennui. Uh, have uh, have come together and you know entered into the oracle's tent deep in the, in the um, deep in the forest, and um, and the oracle has asked you know, uh, has asked you why would, why would you come to me? What is it that you seek to know of? And you've you've told me of this. The oracle nods, understanding the importance of your quest, and asks what you bring with you to reach your destination proffering cards before them so we're playing a version of this where i'm not giving you all of the options i'm just picking a random set and we'll choose from those um 
so that then if you play later you'll be like oh cool, cool. there's other cards in here um just because there's a lot to sift through otherwise um so in the hand area i have placed six artifacts and six talents travelers each choose a talent card for yourself describe it then choose one artifact card for yourself and describe that each put these cards together with your class and soul cards to form a character deck you do not have to give yourself a name but you can do so if you wish mm. so yeah there's a little bit more choice here because uh, uh like it's not just the four this time because um we want to make sure that people are happy with uh no, no one's getting the shortest end of the stick possible. So the obvious one for the priest to take would be silver-tongued, but I think I want to see if, uh, in fact, berserking would work. Uh-huh. Uh, perhaps he carries in him the last vestiges of rage against the crying of children and the sick going unhealed and he uses that rage as a weapon against the things that would cause this ennui mm -hmm. yeah it's the, 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 like a, 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 a some remaining fire yes yeah the last oh. embers and hopefully they're hot enough mm -hmm. i have to uh grab the artifact that is the ancient tome mm. the repository of knowledge sacred forbidden or lost it is filled with yellow pages it is the yellow paged book that we don't know how to read anymore oh interesting cool Maybe we'll learn. He's hoping. And as a savant, uh, evocation, talent, shape energies, twist forms, summon creatures, conjure tools. That Classic to combo. Me, Love it. If that's okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how my magic works, but it works. <laughs> yes. Perhaps I'll look in the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> Let your fingers do the walking. Is that what they did? I think rather than do the obvious, which is to be a tank, I'm going to take Silver Tongue for my talent mm -hmm. on the assumption that the sword here and the striking and advantage is not physical, but mental and social. Yeah, cool. This is a diplomat rather than a sword person. Yeah. And I will take the amulet as the symbol of power. Neat. I think for an artifact, I'm going to go with the bottle, which uh, contains one tier from each of my parishioners. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Um, I was, all right, so we have all of these, uh, blades hanging around. Um, there are a few there today. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think I am going to go with, uh, I studied the blade and, um, the deft blade. Cool. Oh uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like. Yeah, which blade did you study? The I, yeah, the fancy one. Yes, the fancy, the fancy one, fancy kind. Oh, yep. so Excellent. So, <laughs> to to um, to explain um, the mechanisms on those cards, um, you'll notice that each of them has plus promise. Um, so that means that. Um, you can use this card when you fulfill the main text, right? Um, mm -hmm. So, for instance, um, I'll use the the uh, I'll use the bow as an example. The bow is um, not 
going big for me. Please go big. There we go. Um, the bow is strike true before a distant foe can retaliate or escape. Um, so uh, if I'm doing that, I can use the bow and put it into a hand. Um, and so therefore, it's more likely that one of my cards will come up rather than one of the one of the oracle's cards, which tend to be less great. Um, but additionally, if I'm also uh, um, my if if also my enemies cannot reach me, which is the like the plus promise text, I get to put another card in. Um, mm -hmm. we, uh, so it's kind of doubling uh, doubling your uh, your chances of of having that bonus. Um, so it's good to know what your what your triggers are for both like use, but also for the additional promises. Mm -hmm. um, I will. Can I put these other ones back? I'll just delete them for now. That's fine. Um, cool. Excellent. Um, travelers, when you have explained yourselves, ask the oracle to begin the reading proper. If you feel you've, if you feel you all have enough understanding of, uh, but like you may need to ask each other questions or <laughs> things. Um, if you feel like you have an understanding of your characters. Hmm. Look again. Yeah. So who wants to be here? <laughs> I'm sure that you guys are better than better than me at this, so whatever you think. <laughs> I'm sure it's it's hopeless. I have a question. Um, does the sword hold authority over the rest of you? Well, of course, I have the amulet. <laughs> That's right there. Symbol of power recognized by all. That is true. That is a ridiculously outmoded way of thinking, and I do not subscribe to that notion. That uh, seems sounds pretty legit to me. I mean, it is. It says it right there. <laughs> Yeah. Here, let me let me look in this the yellow pages and see if I can <laughs> figure that out. No, no, I can't. There's a picture of an amulet, but we have no idea what it says. Yeah, yeah I I think it sounds right to me. Uh, I think we just have to go with it. We have to go with what little juice we have left. The sands of uh, not time, but sands of energy seem to be running out of my mind so i'm i look to the sword as uh authority myself i look to the sword because it's a natural thing for i, I pray the sword leads and uh, the others do whatever they do I love that we've all got the traditional coin sword <laughs> animosity that happens every time. <laughs> so, would you like me to begin the reading proper? Yes, yes. please. Okay. Desperately. <laughs> all right. When you leave here, you will be uh, you will find yourselves in the woods again. Those woods that you traveled through to find me. And uh, uh, and you will uh, and you will find yourself in uh, in day as dusk, and the uh, and you will and you will struggle to uh, to make out a clear path, and through the trees, a silhouette will move out of sight, darting quickly from trunk to trunk. What will you do? Call out to it to stop. I will look to the sword for leadership. Do we have names or are we just calling ourselves by our roles at That's this up point? To you. Do you want to have names? I don't think we do. Yeah, yeah I, I to be referred to as the savant. Yeah, you can you can be the savant or the uh, or the the wand. 
the sword or the uh, the sword or the what's it, uh, the strategist um, cup it sounds like it, it sounds to me as if the outcome of your uh, of your call to this uh, to this shape is a fate that matters to you do you care whether they respond uh, whether they uh, whether they respond or not is that true mm. yes i do I, I i want to feel a connection of some sort then we should make a hand so i at the moment only have one oh wait no i should have a peril cut as well oops where are my perils Uh, shuffle that. I just need to check to see if this is applicable. No, I don't think so. Cool. There is an, uh, I am placing one card in this hand. Mm -hmm. um, it is the woods themselves. What of your? Uh, what of you? Do you think is uh, will aid you in this? What parts of yourself and what do you carry that will aid you in uh, calling out to this figure? My soul, with its bullish defiance, demanding a uh, a response, some sort of connection, and perhaps uh, my class, as I'm used to uh, being heard. Yep, that sounds that sounds appropriate. So, this is the point at which anyone else could choose to join in if they want to help, and this is specifically help in this approach to uh, to this situation for instance if you're like i'm gonna hit it with my uh, i'm gonna hit it with a stick that's a different approach so we would do a different hand for that um but if someone were aiding in this then we then they would be able to contribute any cards they like the only condition is that as soon as there's more than one person in a hand we add the discord peril which is just in case you all get in each other's hair and uh and muck things up for each other mm -hmm. But if 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 the if the cup is uh if the priest is doing this on their own then they have pre they have two and three odds at the moment. I uh I recall having hope, and uh, I think you know it's I'm certainly capable of it again, but maybe I need to watch first and see. So. I think I'm going to study and look to the sword for leadership in this circumstance. Well, since the priest has taken it upon themselves to step forward and speak, I will direct that we wait to see what happens. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, there was I a mention of guinea one, pigs earlier. I will take one step back. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, everyone moves as the priest is left standing out in front in front we're not with him yeah um all right cool i'm gonna flip these all and then i'm gonna shuffle them and then i'll get you to right click on one of them and you should be able to flip card if it comes up one of your blue cards mm -hmm. that's a good thing and uh, and we will depending on which card it is we'll, we'll narrate uh narrate that if it comes up with the red one that's not so great we'll see where right. the, the tail goes from there and, and it looks like it's my soul what is it about your soul that means uh, that, that is so uh, that is that is so effective um in uh in convincing this person the 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 call to this person the the attempts to make a connection to another person lit lit by the last flickering embers of uh passion in inside my soul um for a moment it illuminates theirs and it makes them see that other people aren't just dim shadows on the cave wall but real people who one, at least at one point, uh, were worth talking to and worth uh, getting to know. So yeah, this this wild person um, uh, approaches uh, approaches warily, somewhat confused by their own actions, uh, through the forest, 
um, bow drawn, but not, uh, not, but like lowered, um, mm -hmm. tense, but, re uh, tense, but not, uh, but not threatening. Um, their hair is filled with, uh, their hair is filled with feathers and, uh, and nuts and things that are tied in, in different, uh, in different forms. Um, and they, uh, and they approach, um, and speak to you in, uh, uh they in speak to you in words that might once have been something that you could understand, but they're certainly not now, um, mm -hmm. uh, seemingly near gibberish but they gesture to the woods around you um as if there are several important um things that you should the the uh, as if there are things that you should be understanding and the um uh and reading from the uh from the surrounds um questioning asking uh, um, um there's a sense of confusion as to why you're here and not dead I ask myself that all the time. Mm. Maybe it's your humble, uh, humble appearance and your uh, your desire to be a martyr priest that uh, has uh, put them uh, off their guard. I, I don't like the last part, but I certainly hope it is the former. Uh, I wonder what our diplomat would make of this. Is this wild person approaching the priest or all of us? They've made their way out. Uh, they will have made their way out of the clearing, and they will uh, and they will look at all of you um, with suspicion, um, but will glare at the uh, at the priest with the most confusion. <laughs> this person carrying no weapon, no, <laughs> no, uh, no obvious sign of defense. Yeah. I will first make a very ostentatious uh, gesture towards the coin, suggesting that she keep her weapon down, as though I, I have the power to stay her, to signal <laughs> to this person that we're not violent. Uh, I have a question. The, does the amulet need to be a, an actual physical object? I, I'm thinking it might actually be some kind of facial tattoo. What is it? This is this is the thing. Is that one of the important Simple things power. that we are instructed to do is to um, is to bring the fiction into focus as we play. Very so good. So as soon as we see this amulet, I, I would love to know what it looks like. Very good. So when I step forward and, and make my grandiose gesture, the amulet is actually a, a tattoo uh, across my face, and are very intricate uh, blue lines that are the symbol of power and that are only given to somebody who is invested with that authority in a permanent way. Obviously you can't take it off and you can't hide it at any time. And so if this person recognizes the symbol at all, yeah, he will recognize it simply by looking at me. It's not something I can set aside or conceal. What do you hope will happen? I'm hoping that he will realize that we are not a threat mm -hmm. and that he will show us what it is that is concerning or frightening him here because there's clearly some kind of other threat that is worrying him that's not us excellent um i will the coin lower their blade uh I think Tracy's Tracy's frozen. No, that ennui again. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna play. I'm going to think. Uh, I do think that this requires a hand. Um. We'll wait. Welcome back, Tracy. <laughs> You're. Oh no. Ah. Internet. Why do you do this to us? We'll wait and see. Mm. Welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. My um, internet just completely stopped working. That's but okay. Anyways, uh, apologies. Um, what was I saying? Yes, the coin is not in the habit of uh, removing their hand from their blade. 
Uh, nor is the coin in the habit of drawing it prematurely cool. and is in fact offended that someone would think that they needed their hands stayed in a situation such as this because they have some sense some modica of sense in their body <laughs> excellent all right cool um so i think that uh, it, i think that it sounds just like a modicum. just a modicum just that's <laughs> um <laughs> Just uh, a little bit. <laughs> it sounds to me like this. Uh, um, the reaction of the uh, of this figure of this wild person um, matters to you. Um, uh, sword. Does yes. That, does that sound accurate? Yes, it does. Then a hand shall be drawn. Um, I have placed into the uh, the hand the woods. Um, let me have a look and see what see if any of my others are appropriate i think that this is actually an appropriate um possible outcome so i'm gonna i'm gonna place there are two cards oh. in this hand mm. there's possible outcomes what do you uh, what do you put forth i think i have used the amulet uh, it certainly sounds like it and... You're always allowed to contribute yourself for free. I'm not sure that it really applies here. It's up to you. Um, yeah, like they're yeah. The, the the point of the soul cards is they are mecha mechanically always an option for you, even because it's considered that like all things are soul things. But, right. Um, that's uh, up to you. Can I bring my talent into this also? Uh, it sounds like it. Okay. I think that is it. I, I mean, yeah, you, you're using feelings more than words, but that's certainly what the, that's certainly yes. one of the things. Okay, cool. All right. And Perhaps. since I'm standing ahead, I'd like to assist with her, uh, with, with my soul. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, ju just to aid in the, uh, the connection between the three, four or five of us. Okay, well, it, because there is the possible uh, because there is an additional person, I put the Discord card in there. Um, cool. Are there any other contributions to this hand? I think uh, the bows of the trees, uh, the canopy coming down. Uh, I'd like to evoke my talent of evocation and uh, twist the forms. Of those branches into a protection a protective shield over the sword i feel like that would be um a different hand okay um oh no so it's, it's you're protecting the short the sword specifically yeah okay yes. it, it, yeah okay that makes sense yep that's fine i've already got discord in there so i can't add it again <laughs> Cool. All right. Let's get the, let's flip these. Um, and then shuffle them. Do, 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 do. And it is the sword who is doing this challenge. So they can right click on one of the things and flip a card. Excellent. It is Very your good. so yeah, it is your um what is it about your your words or feelings that uh that, that get through to this person? I think it's not my words. I think you're right that it's my feelings. It's the way that I'm standing, the gestures that I'm making without looking to see if anyone is actually obeying me. I just assume that we are all of one mind. Uh, the fact that I am approaching with open hands and the symbol of authority, that it, it creates an impression on this person rather than persuading them. Mm -hmm. Cool. Excellent. Um, I think they gesture towards... Um... Uh, 
um, like they, I think they they come uh, come closer and um, and gesture towards shadows in the trees, um, and um, and I think you notice some uh, some movement up there um, that had maybe been too smooth or too languid to previously um previously reveal itself to you um but my question is what happens oh gosh okay all right um i think they are gonna so what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna give you a card for them oh. where are our promise cards so Promises. Shuffle it first. Do one out. Okay. Um, sword. This card is for you. Flip that over. This success card here. Um, take that success card and place it into your hand. It is. It, it represents the assistance of. Um, uh of the uh the wild person so if they are if they if their assistance would be helpful to the situation then you can use that success card got it um and just put it into the hand really like great oh here's an extra extra bonus um however yeah they um they gesture into the uh, into the forest canopy and um and from the shadows, where's my description? Splintered bones and whatever binds them shambles in the dark. A gut, uh, um, now that it knows it has been, uh, now that it senses that it has been spotted, the creature that may have once been a living thing now makes, uh, now makes a, a, a guttural groaning. Uh, and uh, and not so much climbs as falls a few um uh, uh a few branches down and you see tapidum lucidum in what were once human eyes the reflection of uh, of whatever light uh, light source you carry with you a jaw hangs uh, a jaw hangs open only attached by one side what will you do? Uh, well, this is a truly a worthy foe for the coin who will, of course, neatly dispatch of this threat, um, which I'm sure will only take them. It, it is the work of mere moments. For the coin, I think. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so it sounds like I would like to know how. Well, um, do you leap forward into the tree, or do you wait for it to approach? Uh the the coin will definitely leap forward. Um. You said that the you said that the creature was like falling. Uh, gracefully as uh, as much as this such a thing can, it's making its way down, just not caring which of its limbs it's u it, it uses. Yes, a rib so... cage works as well as a foot. <laughs> yeah, so the coin will, um, when this moment arises, uh, fling themselves forward such that they are uh underneath the creature right before it hits the ground so that they can strike up at it and uh you know proceed to uh rend it limb from limb i assume tell me I about the blade assume. that you're wielding for this is it 
Is it a is it a dagger or a rapier or something else? Uh it is a um it is I think it's a like it's a rapier. Yeah, it's it is um uh relatively light and made for uh made for accuracy um and precision rather than sheer power. Um and it is unlike a lot of it is one of the few belongings i think that the coin has that is purely practical um it's unornamented it uh it like it is it, the, the sheath for the sword is not the sheath for the sword is mm -hmm. uh like covered in the like covered it's like leather with um these embossed patterns and like the coins family crest on it and there's like gilding in some of them it's a ridiculous thing the sword is not the sword is well made well balanced and old excellent cool it sounds as if the outcome of this tangle is important to you that you would prefer that it not uh, that it not dig its horrid uh, horrid bony tendrils into your body I would in fact prefer that instead of that I triumph gracefully then a, draw, then a hand shall be drawn. I have placed two cards into this hand. Okay. Um, I would like to use my blade and also my blade training. Um, and I think that the coins, the coins soul is probably actually um harming them at this point uh because they're like the combination of misplaced nobility and animal instincts um has led them to make what is probably a very very what will probably turn out to be a very very poor choice in this moment um so i think i'm actually gonna not use that one sure <laughs> that is fine um does anyone oh. else contribute to this hand? I, uh, I, I swear that I saw in the ancient tome a monster of half jaw with a hanging jaw. I saw an image of that. So I'm going to open up the large yellow pages of the ancient tome <laughs> and cough as the dust of, comes off the pages, yellow dust in the dry wrinkled pages that I flipped through them to, to find the image of the hanging jawed monster. Ah, yes, coin. Here, here's the diagram here. It shows the weakness. I think, I think it shows the weakness here in the yellow pages. It shows a red flashing spot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, excellent. Oh, man, it really would be nice if the coin were the sort of person who um, would take the time to assess that uh, before leaping at things. Um, I agree. That might help. I think that the, I think that like this is being called out as you position yourself regardless. So that so it still it still contributes to the hand oh. whether or not whether or yeah. not I mean we'll find out if you listen, right? If it yeah. if if the ancient tone yeah. is the one that comes up, oh my god, you listen. <laughs> no. But that, that is a currently a one in six chance. Uh yeah. Um did you want to throw your uh, um your soul in there as well, um, Savant? Uh Yes, you know, we, we can't we can't read the words of the tome. This uh these images and the pictures might help, but my soul, let's see, intricate dance of thoughts and emotions swaying to some cosmic song like the sea lapping at the shore. That always helps. I mean, so you I can't like, do anything without a soul, so you can't <laughs> Right. All right. Because now the odds are better than 50 50. <laughs> I just wanted to. I was like, is there anything else we can get on our side? I mean, we've been, we did, been doing pretty well so far. 
Um, let's. I, 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 may I throw something in? Yes, certainly, of course. This is this is going to be a little strange. Uh, I'm going to throw in my silver tongue, but what I'm doing is doing nothing uh, because I know that the coin is resentful of my authority and uh, headstrong and would be very angry if I interfered or helped. And so I am going to ostentatiously not act and hold our new companion back from acting so that the coin can have this triumph That's alone. Excellent. I love it. You're deferring to their uh, to the to their like to their skill to a certain yes. degree. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming that the coin is going to it, it wants to prove that you know they don't need my help, they don't need me to be in charge and so I I'm assisting them through inaction. Or or patronizing, that that would be one term. <laughs> Look, it's going to be very embarrassing if they fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shuffle, shuffle. Okay, coin. So you right-click and flip card. Ah! Oh, dear. Ooh. The, thing, the thing leaps upon you, and you're, and you're momentarily distracted by, uh, by the fact that you expect to hear one voice and hear another. Um... Uh, the, whether uh, where the sword should be shouting at you to do something or other, instead you're being told about uh, you're being told about uh, about pictures from a book. <laughs> this is of no help at all. Um, let's let's. It's let's, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it in the jugulum. Um. Okay. Cool. Um. This means I'm going to give you a thing. I've got a gift for you. It's called a wound. And it's, a, <laughs> and it's a special kind of card that uh, you basically, any time that you're inv you're involved in a hand, you have to uh, you have to at least. So whenever you're putting cards forward, I can always be like, "No, nah, I don't think that applies." Um, as the oracle, however, with a wound, you always have to say, "Does this apply?" If you're Ooh. in a, if you get into Ooh. it. Uh, so I'm just going to shuffle the wound deck for a minute. Um, I would, the coin would like everyone to know that they still, that they this was all part of the plan, um, and that everything is fine. I mean, you, and you, whatever yep. happens happens for a very good reason, and they definitely will not fuck anything like this up. I mean, you succeeded though; it's a successful yeah, injury. I I, yeah, I will succeed at slaying any beast that you said before me. Uh, you just also happen to let's see what your wound is. Oh goodness! Um, I'm just gonna put that into the hand there, and I'll flip it over. You've Ooh. got the. Uh... Ooh. You don't have any. You don't have any external signs of uh, of injury. You look fine. Oh, oh maybe the ennui is oh. getting to you. Oh, this is, okay. This one is mine now. Yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you. So, what does it look like? You, uh, what does this tangle look like? Um. Uh. Yeah, so, the, uh, it's brutal. Um, and it's brutal and short, I think. Um. And the where the coin was expecting to dispatch this beast with a flourish. Um, instead, they end up trading blows. Like this, this thing's just like got like uh like an arm that ends at the elbow and just bludgeoning you you with it. And, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. And it must uh, be embarrassing for you. Oh, uh, <laughs> the the coin like ends like will end up um having to this this beast is is animated in a way where severing its tendons and sinews doesn't seem to like does not act as expected um and so the coin ends up like dropping their sword and will like lay into this creature and um like ends up having to tear uh, so, like they will have to end up tearing apart its rib cage so they can like 
grab the um the the viscera of this undead barely alive uh animated woods creature um and like throw that on the ground um which i think will work and definitely definitely is a success that worked um but uh the that um that's not the coin's usual style if this thing, um, if quite this the thing, flourish that you're going for. If this thing died from bleeding, it would have been, it, it would have been like if this thing bled, it would you would have dispatched it with without a second thought. But it doesn't. Wow. It just kind of oozes like black ichor, and so you found another way. Yeah, and and, and so without I, a scratch on you, it seems. Uh, yeah. Um, but they are like. They're standing there, like covered in like this disgusting filth, and like like chest heaving, visibly exhausted. And um, there's there's this like re like there's an anger in their face, right? Like there is a fury behind this normally like night charming would be too stupid, like gregarious exterior like they are furious and you can tell from like bo like body language the whole thing like uh you can tell from like yards away that they are having a time <laughs> excellent cool well um i will get i think it's the wand i will ask to take their soul back and then we will uh Oh, yes. We'll take our first break. So we're going to take five minutes to stretch your legs, get a drink, um, visit the bathroom if you need to, any of those sorts of things, and we'll be back shortly. Great. Thank you.